Hello, this is Lolly. Um, I've had several requests to show how I made this sneaker Rolodex or Memory Dex card. And what I used was the Heidi Swap die. You see, it's sort of like a slice of bread shape there. If you don't have this, that's okay. You still need a four inch wide card and four, three and three quarter inch tall. And then if you don't have this, like I said, find a large bowl or plate or something put that up against here and trace the end and then once you've got that you want to trace it on another piece of black paper cut those two out now for the white I used this die I cut a piece of white out like right there and I turned it around and cut it there again you can do the same thing with your white if you have once you've got this cut out you just cut trace there and trace there and cut out a piece of white like this and you need to glue it on first so that you can figure out how far up you can go with this notch. So I measured and my particular one is two and a quarter inches away from the bottom so I turned it over and I measured two and an eighth inches up because I don't want my hold my hole here to actually touch the white part. So that's what I did and then I found the center. Now from there I want to uh, measure a little bit out to make this notch here and I've angled mine out a little bit so I figured that I did, let's see, and you make this up as you go along, it's really not that important. I did uh, an eighth of an inch away from the center at the top and then at the bottom maybe a quarter of an inch yeah, I get that centered. This has got cork on the bottom, so it doesn't slide around that well. Okay, so mark that, and then draw those lines. And then what I did was I actually, down at the bottom, I just kind of curved it around to actually join into those notches there, and then cut that out. I'm using a silver pencil hoping that that will help you to be able to see what I'm doing but when I go to draw more detailed lines I'll also go in and zoom in if I need to. Okay so I'm cutting that notch out. There you go. Now that's what that will look like. So I need to draw on the back the lines of, um, so that I'll know here's <laughs> so many pieces of black paper. I want to draw a straight line down each one so I know exactly all my holes are lined up and I think I did that a quarter inch away from the line that I just cut. So I'm going to come over here. Actually, I think it's a three eighths. One, two, three eighths is what I did. And three eighths. So again, just kind of play around and see if that looks like what I've got here. Well, it looks like it's a quarter inch. I'll go ahead and do a quarter inch out there. Let's be consistent with what my other one was. Okay, draw a line. Now, yeah, it shows up a little bit, but I think I'll zoom in more too. And I want to draw a quarter inch this way. There you go. And draw that one. Now, uh, I see that I have four holes on each side. I want my first one to be on that line that I just drew. I want my first one to be about an eighth of an inch away. I think that's what I did. And I don't want the last one to be all the way down here. So I'm just going to kind of figure out Oh, what do I have? So I have one, two, if I do every half, a quarter inch, or excuse me, every half inch, that is too far apart. And then I, my last one is going to be down here. So I'm just going to guess and say it wasn't ha a quarter inch, so I'm going to try three eighths and see one, two, three eighths, one, two, three eighths, one, two, three eighths. I still have a little room. I could make them spread out, but and eighth here and then one two three eighths one two three one two three then all i need to do this is a one eighth inch punch or two sixteenths i'm going to line it up on the hash mark there and cut those out it gets it gets those plugged up there where i can't see
it's up to you how you do this, so don't panic. You know, and once you do one, you might just use the, use the one to uh, trace the holes on the next card. It would be a lot faster than drawing all these lines like I did this time. Okay, at this point, all you need to do is put your eyelets in. And um, once I did that, I laced it up before gluing it onto this other card. Let me zoom back out again. There we go. Um, pointer. And I used a white pen, and if I have that handy, here it is. It's the white Signo Uniball. Love it. I made little stitch marks across here and across there. I drew a black line across here. I went online and just Googled Converse All-Star Emblem or something like, or logo. And I cut it out and glued it on there. I'm not going to be selling these because it's trademark. I'm just using it for my own personal use. Now, when I did another one of these cards before that wasn't a shoe, it was just like a laced up vest that went this way. I used some uh, narrow ribbon, but I thought that would be too cutesy for this shoe. It needed more like a tennis shoe um, shoestring. So this is Baker's Twine, and it wasn't thick enough, so you can see I used two layers of it. Love it. And I started at the very top here, and I came on up from the bottom in every hole. And so I started that way. I came up from the bottom, crossed over, come up, come up, come up, and then I didn't tie it, though. I just threaded it loosely and made sure I had really a lot of Baker's Twine because I was afraid of running out. And then I glued across the bottom, sides, tops, like that, glued it on place and I used binder clips to hold it in place when it was all dry then I tied my knot because if you start tying it before you actually glue it on the card it tends to bow in like this so just be patient glue it on there and that's all it takes so I'm not going to waste time by showing you putting eyelets in I did use um, my um, eyelet setter that's the crocodile big bite because it has this the tiny size of eyelet holes that I wanted so that's it I hope that helps thank you so much for watching and giving a thumbs up on the video